I wanted to give a review of this uh, Palomino 1251 saw side camper. I didn't see any uh, except a dealer review of it. So this is a real, real world view of it. So I wanted to show you this and my truck uh, that I haul it with, my rig. Okay. So. so Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, what I have to uh, haul the camper is this uh, Ram 2500 uh, heavy duty uh, Hemi 6.4 gas. Uh, it's probably way too much for the camper, but uh, I'd rather have a more heavy duty than that. So in the front, if you follow me over here, I installed this earlier, um, so I just didn't take it off, but I kind of like it on there. Okay? Okay, uh, first of all, I have these tie-downs, they're called um, fast guns. They're really nice. I, I've only taken this off once, but uh, I mark where it is, and it just it looks better than the chains. I know there's chains in the bottom, but and there's also, I have them locked. So you can't tamper with them. So I, I added that. Uh, that's an accessory. Everything's an accessory on a camper. So I'll explain more about that later. But uh, I added that. Not. Okay. I added this recently. Uh, I've been meaning to. So I finally found one on, um, on the internet. I think it's from Amazon. I had to modify it so it went in more. I just cut it. It, it, it cuts and drills pretty easy for the uh, hole. So I didn't cut much off. And then I got this bag because I had some stuff that I wanted to take with us. But I might not use it all the time, but uh, I have some other things I'll show you later on that. Okay, I wanted to show you this first uh, accessory I have. I have the ladder that hooks onto this. But I, that's kind of like a nuisance for me if you uh, have to take it on and off. So I got this ladder I wanted to show you. I'll pull it out. It goes like that. It's real handy. It's a four step. And I needed a four step to uh, get into the camper. And this is a real nice ladder. It uh, comes up, it locks, and there's a dual purpose for this because if you look on the side here, you have to undo those latches on the top. So that comes in real handy for that also. So I got a multi-purpose use out of this ladder. And to put it down, you just pull these down, folds down. Then I just turn it around, put it in here like this, and uh, voila, you can step in here real nice. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd show you this part on the camper. Uh, it's just a storage area, and I keep my cords in there, magnetic. I pull this out. I also have a... Um, a safety uh, cord on there too, but I don't need it right now. I'm going to plug it into my house. Okay, so you can cut it. Okay, so this is how you do undo the top. 
the buckle like this. And there's one and two. Now make sure this is off too. So you just do all four of them like that. I how to raise the um, the sides and the top on this. So first of all, if you come around here, you reach around to this button here, and you push this button, and it lights up green there. <laughs> and then you take this remote. And uh, to check it, I do this, I push this, and it turns red there. Uh, now if you hold it long enough, it changes green for these things. So now how I lift it, I just use this. And you can look up there. Some will finish faster than others, but you just have to wait for the all stop. Okay, they all stopped, and you just take the remote, and you just put it back on this Velcro thing here. And that sticks that. Uh, this is an automatic fan. This remote, I had it uh, installed the other week. Uh, it's very important uh, I got this mod uh, because you'll see when I, when I put the uh, top down uh, and close the door, it sucks the, um, the air in. So... Uh, it makes it easier to put the top down. So this is a, I think it's a Dometic Fantastic Vent. And instead of me climbing up there and turning it on and turning it off when it's down, this makes it more uh, easier to do. So now I'll just show you, I'll just push the button and it'll turn on automatically. You can look up there and see it. Turns on automatic. So that's very convenient and there's all kind of adjustments here. You can look on the internet yourself and uh, see them and then you just put it back. I mounted it right here. So that's that. The uh, toilet mod we done. I like this camper because it has a bigger uh, shower area and toilet. Um, I installed a bidet there. Uh, it's a top mounted bidet and it works really good. I have one in my house and I'll lift it, lift it up and uh, show them just the top and uh, it works really good. Uh, we have a, a garbage bag in there right now because we only like take day trips uh, recently so we don't imp bother emptying the uh, black tank but it works really good so that's that, my. That's very important to us, anyway. Okay. Okay. I, I replaced the toilet in that camper with a Dometic 320. Uh, like I say, I just spliced into it with a PEX uh, coupling, and everything works fine with it. Uh, so, and it's all ceramic, but I bought a different top also because it was a heavy top. So I, I bought a plastic top. So it was fairly easy to do. I think I just 
made one or two uh, PEX connections. So uh, that's my secret of uh, doing that. Okay, thanks. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you some more detail of this PEX uh, hookup I got. It's a three-way splice. You know, where it continues on and you got a three-way. So, and then it goes up to here. See, I got that one blocked off for the hot. And the other one goes down to there. So, I just wanted to let you know you have to have this type of uh, PEX. I think it's quarter, but don't, it, you know, I don't think it's three-eighths, but there's all different kinds, but I think it's quarter. Quarter is harder to find, but it is available online. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to uh, show you about the toilet that I installed. The toilet I got in the camper, I replaced it with this one. And it's uh, one of these, 310 or 20, I'm not exactly sure. And then looking over here, this is the uh, bidet I put in there. It just fits in under the toilet seat. It's a pure spa, a little temperature. I got the same one in the house, uh, but you just plug the, I just plug the hot thing. Uh, there's a plug for it. You don't have to use the hot water if you don't have the, the capacity to. And it works fine. Works real fine. And I just wanted to show you that um, I spliced it in with these uh, PEX uh, couplings. Now this happens to be a 3-8 one, but I think the one I put in there was a quarter. And of course it comes with the, um, I mean it doesn't come with the rings, but you have to buy the rings for the correct size too. And I bought this. Uh, it's a battery rapid Ryobi PEX crimper and that works really well on it. Uh, you can get in there and crimp it but I also bought the manual one but I have no experience with these uh, so I bought the power one. Well, it looks like they're having a hard time crimping it with the manual but I guess it can be done you know. So but I know this uh, power one works pretty good. Okay. Okay, now the second and third mod, I guess you would say we've done, is I mounted this wood here, two separate places, and I cut this bench in half so I could take this one out if I if I could if I needed to get to the water tank or something. Um, I installed these hitches I got on Amazon, and they lock in the place. And then I just uh, screwed it and uh, put nuts behind there. And then I mounted this uh, grab bar. And I also have, um, what do you call it? It's, um, it's a tension uh, rod in there. It's not a rod, but it's a bottle, like a bottle jack, holding, the, holding it down back there. And that seems to work just fine. I have a piece of wood going across both of them and one like bottle jack so it puts pressure on it. Uh, it's just for safety. I mean I got the legs on this so it's, it's okay in a way but just to make it steady. It's working fine. So I mounted this and it just goes like that and it helps you get up the stairs. Uh, I mounted this piece of wood here. Um, I mean, there's a lot to this modification. So then you can still open this drawer and put this out of the way. It's not too... Then you could put store stuff in there. Uh, right now it's kind of crowded in here. We're going on a camping trip, so... Um, so I did. I made this one come out longer. And I bought these legs on Amazon and screwed them on and they're adjustable to the floor. And I also put a subfloor there. Uh, because I couldn't find legs long enough uh, without a big uh, modification. So I just put that um, 
plywood there with some tiles on it. And then I just screwed these down, this this uh, down with these uh, 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 wing nuts. So I got them in uh, th at least three places there. I see, and it seems to work fine. And the step up from here to here is good after I cut this out because you would hang over and your legs would be hitting this so I cut this down and, uh, and there's the, the bottom of the bed but uh, I have these supporting it also so I don't think it's going to hurt anything as far as supporting uh, then I put a, a block of wood back here and I screwed these nuts here on this 2x4 and uh, I'll show you later but uh, I have some inserts in the wood that it screws into and then I uh, I screwed this down here and found some small, small uh, butt uh, uh, hinges here on both sides and I, I screwed a couple of these on both sides there uh, this is just to hold this box in here while we're traveling in my TV. So, that's a big deal. <laughs> so, now that I got this, then I bought this thing earlier. And uh, you open it, you just put the handle and it opens. And I, I put it right here. Now, you can step up here, 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 and here. And it's really uh, makes life simple to uh, get in and out of this bed. Otherwise, I had these small steps on that ladder. To me, that was no good. So these are nice, solid steps. And you got this to hang on to, and you got this to hang on to. So it makes it really convenient. And uh, I'm just trying to make everything convenient and not be a, a hassle when you're camping. Okay, so that's that. Okay. okay, I just wanted to have uh, one more thing without taking this apart right now. Uh, it's real simple. I just got some hooks. Uh, I just take these hooks out. The box slides out. This is for our... Uh, what do we call that? Easy Bake Oven. Easy Bake Oven. This, that's this right here. It's real convenient. We like to take that. Uh, but uh, this, this uh, top opens up without any interference from this and you can and it, still use the stove and you can still use the stove and uh, of course I got my TV there too but just buttoned down for traveling so yeah I could have did a better job with this here uh, I still might do that I mean it's a work in progress so okay uh, also, I forgot, uh, we modified this bed mattress. It comes with a good mattress, but this is one's better. It's one of them uh, expand, expanded, right, this uh, bed mattress. This is quite thick here. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's about that thick. And uh, it's really comfortable. I recommend to get one of these instead of the mattress that comes with it. It's really nice to put you to sleep. <laughs> so. I also wanted to tell you that. Okay. okay, these lights are good. Uh, they're on and off, of course. Now I added these ones. These are motion sensor. And they're really nice at night. You come in the camper. I got one over there. I got one here. I got one under here. And uh, you can find those on Amazon too. Uh, I'll see what I can, if I can put a link there. Okay. Of course, like I said, uh, when we ordered this, everything was extra. Of course, you know. <laughs> uh, and we had to added the air conditioning to this particular model, if you're looking to get this model. Uh, and it works really good. And the heater works good. Here's the uh, thermostat for that. And we got various plugs all over the place. Uh, there's one here. There's one by the kitchen area. I got one of those lights in the bathroom. They, they really do a good job, that motion light. So, and when we pack up, this is stationary. 
and then I, to close this, I just lift it open, put it here or on the other side, it seems to stay put. Okay. Okay, another uh, mod or things to make life easier. When you put the top down, first of all, I showed you this fan. When you put the fan on and close the door, it sucks the top in so it's easier to uh, put away. So right now I have the fan on. So that's good. So then I take the, uh, the top remote. And I also have this stick. Now this stick was just a painter stick. It adjusts, you know. I bought this little top here. I don't know. Of course, they probably got it on Amazon. So what I do is, when the top comes in, you can reach up there. And uh, you can actually undo this a little bit so it's hanging over. And then when you put it down, you close this. Then that fan sucks, sucks the top in, I'll show you. Uh, well, first I have to turn on, I always forget this. This shuts off after a while, you turn this back on here to its green. Then you shut the door. And then on the remote, on this left side here, you push down. And then watch it suck in. It doesn't take long, it takes about five minutes or so, and uh, see how it's sucking in there. So then, after it's down more, I just take this and put this in there, and it, it helps it. Of course, I don't want to bring it all the way down now, but that helps it, so that's what this is for. Right now, I'm going to leave it up. to show you keep looking up there all these windows up there they do have zippers that are screens uh, they're plastic and then the screen allows it for fresh air so I wanted to show you that and of course here's the uh, sewer outlet I'll open it just to show you oh, the white key There's the sewer in there. There's the gray and the black. Um, okay, that's that. And then keep it rolling. I'll show you what I... Then uh, down here, I have a waste tank in there. And I can connect that sewer hose right to the, this waste tank if I have to, or I can take the west waste tank out. So, I believe there's... Don't quote me, I think there's three gallons of black water, but the gray water, there is no holding tank. So if you want to take a shower or something, you can hook that up. So on this side again, I got the propane. That's a bottle of propane there. Uh, I guess that holds it if you're changing it out. And I don't know, I probably missed some stuff, but uh, that's about the gist of it, and I, I think these mods really made it a lot better camping for me because we had a, we bought this last year and took a few trips, and then this year I made all these mods, so uh, it's really convenient now. You just, I guess that's a fact of camping life, you know, a little bit of hassle in uh, making these mods. Okay.